So when people ask me, hey, what should I read? I want to write a novel. What should I, what should I read? And you know, I always caution them, hey, you can spend the rest of your life reading about how to do something. And it doesn't have to be writing. It can be anything. It doesn't even have to be on the creative side of the house. It can be, be anything in life. You can study things almost too much. And it's very easy to do that these days because of the internet, because we yeah, just yeah. spent like back, let's say 1985. Well, there was a finite amount of things you could read on how to do something. You can go to your yeah, library yeah. and you could read a few books on a certain subject. And that was about it. Uh, but now you could do it forever. So I think that's a uh, it's very dangerous uh, for someone that uh, want, that doesn't even know that it's resistance. They think they're studying, they think they're doing resist, they think they're they're doing research, but really they're procrastinating. Yeah, um, yeah. And you got to have a certain point where it's time to get down and do the work. And that's why these are so fantastic. Um, and I did want to ask you about how you do this with your with your publishing company that you started to get these these out there. And what these are for those that are watching or listening, these are books on on creativity. And these are books on leadership. These are books on life. These are so fascinating. I love these. So I always recommend these to everybody that asks me, Hey, what should I read? I want to be a writer. I want to be a screenwriter. Um, I want to do anything in the creative space. These are the books I recommend. And, uh, and I say, read these and then get to work. Do exactly <laughs> what it says. It even says it right here. Do the work. And, uh, you know, even if you do the work, there's no guarantee that you'll be quote unquote, a success or you'll get to that stage where you want, but I can guarantee if you don't do the work, you will not get there. So, uh, so I, I recommend these to, to everybody. These are absolutely fantastic. Well, thank um, you. And Thanks for that. How Jack. did you, uh, how did you come up with, with starting to do that? What was the inspiration behind wanting to do this series of books on creativity and resistance? Um, they, they started with the one book, the war of art. And that was basically, I'm sure you'll relate to this completely, Jack. Being a professional writer, your friends would come to you and they'd say, I've got a book in me, you know, and I know I want to write it, you know. And I would sit down with my friends like till two in the morning, you know, over coffee and beer and whatever, telling them, you know, and trying to psych them up and mainly telling them about resistance with a capital R, their own tendency to procrastinate, to sabotage themselves, to fuck up, et cetera, and just kind of psyching them up to, you know, sit down and do the freaking work, you know? And of course, nobody ever listened to me. So after doing this like <laughs> 10 times, I finally, I had like a couple of months off and I thought, I'm going to write this down and then I'll just give it to somebody. Here, yes. read this, you know? So that was how the war, war of Art started. And Sean... Coin, my partner, published it. He had his own company then. And then after that, we just sort of decided, well, let's do another. And then let's do another. Let's yeah. do another. And they've and so they've the bunch of follow-ups came after that. Yeah, no, those are fantastic. Um, and for anybody watching, listening, you can get through these fairly quickly. Um, and which is also wonderful because it's not intimidating. Um, some books, you know, some, some other ones up there on the shelf that might be a limited, a little intimidating because just because they're thick. These ones not thick. And you can get through these fairly quickly. And there's so much valuable information in here and not, not just information, but wisdom. And that's the, that's the, the key is taking past experience, whether it's successes or failures, and then applying that, those lessons to future decisions. And that's what we call wisdom moving forward. And that's what we, a lot of people tend not to do uh, at the strategic level. when we're talking about uh, politicians and everybody else who can study our history and hopefully yeah, yeah, take lessons yeah. <laughs> from history and apply those to future decisions. But uh, we're lacking a lot of wisdom, I think, uh, uh, in a lot of spaces these days. But that's what these are. These are uh, these are books about really about wisdom. You sharing that, and I sincerely appreciate you doing that. I think I have a note in one of these. Actually, I think we talked about it. Um, uh, yeah, I wrote. There's a man going around taking names, Johnny Cash, uh, and I got it from page 71. And so that was one of the things that. Uh, for my first novel, The Terminal List, that kept me kind of on that path was having that theme of revenge. And ah. uh, Simon and Schuster, they took out all my uh, Johnny Cash quotes uh, oh, from they that did. song because uh, <laughs> they're like, ah, oh, there's the there's rights with the estate and all that stuff. So I was allowed to keep one, which was there's a man going around taking names because ah. Johnny Cash took that from somebody in the 1800s, and it's an unknown source, so we were allowed to use uh, use that one without any copyright issues, but. This one, what did it say? I said 71. So yeah, here, right here. And this one says, be brave, my heart. Plant your feet and square your shoulders to the enemy. Meet him among the man killing spears. Hold your ground. So I have that highlighted here in, uh, in Turning Pro. So that obviously resonated as the, 
Essentially that's, every that's a single quote for anybody that's listening. That's a quote from the real life warrior poet Archilochus uh, from like uh, the seventh century BC. That's a true quote. I'm it's nothing I, I made up or anything. Amazing. <laughs>